Hello guys, welcome to Fanbase TV. It's a new week and we are back to bring you new news extra only on Fanbase TV. Don't forget to follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can easily assess us wherever you are all around the world. My name is Kevin Epenkip. So coming up on today's bulletin. So it's a new month, not just a new week, it's a new month. And for some people, for some celebrities, it's a new beginning. So for Ifia Odo Ghanaian, uh, one of Ghana's finest uh, entertainer, she's posted on her social media handles as new month, new man, which is to say that for some time now she's been single and I'm not sure that a couple of men, especially fans, men were crushing on her the way uh, where she was single. So she found a new man and she posted it on social media saying new month, new man, which is particular relationship leads to the next level for her. So the next month there won't be a new month, new man. We wish if you are the very best on that particular one. Now away from that, let's talk about um, one of Ghana's finest actresses, a TV and radio personality, Nash Yoko, who recovered recently from coronavirus. So a couple of months ago, two months to be precise, she came out on her social media to announce that she tested positive for COVID-19. And she's been on a self-isolation for the past two months now. But recently, she posted again on her social media that, uh, thank God, she did the test again and it came out negative. So for those of us at Fanbase TV, we are saying, thank God we are joining uh, Nash Yoko to celebrate this uh, recovery. I wish you all the very best. We hope that she's back on air soon, giving us that a sweet, sweet, nice voice. We wish Nash Yoko all the very best. Now, away from that, Ghanaian artists don't support each other. So, a couple of um, days ago, especially in the weekend, we posted a video about, uh, you know, Kwame Eugene and an artist, another artist, you know, trying to contemplate about their self, their authority and all that. So, Kwame Eugene is saying in that particular video that um, Ghanaian artists don't support themselves. And that is one of the main reasons the Ghana music industry is not taking its speak as it should like Nigeria and other, and other African countries. So we're going to be bringing you a playing as much as you can still find this particular video on our YouTube channel, the full video of it. So we're going to give you a brief of what Kwame Yoji said, uh, talking about how Ghanaian artists don't support themselves. Just translate at the top of the time thing. We get peace. We get we, we get peace. We will be very peaceful because nobody wants to anybody. Nobody wants to anybody. I mean, 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 but deep down, love no day, unity no day. Because if I'm going to get a only know what industry back on. You go do the song, you go do the video, you go do the album. Come on, make a cobble post. You can't do it. Because he, he managed to get maybe two points and he and he followers. Wait, one point and he and he followers. That one point and he and he followers, no. So I'll be posting one. So say you two, the followers go see say, oh, maybe a family are releasing your fufu. Or oh, maybe a sister is releasing your fufu. Family are releasing your fufu. Cause you are releasing your fufu. Mami, so say the followers go see, no. Post. Now away from that, in support to what Kwame Eugene is saying, uh, sister, if you are another artist here in Ghana also is saying that uh, Kwame Eugene is right, that artists fake love, that the, the love artists has for each other, it's fake love and that is what is leading to the industry not getting to its le next level. So uh, sister, if you are seconding to what uh, Kwame Eugene is saying, I think it's item that this Ghanaian artist take this into consideration so that the mu music industry can go to its next level and become big like Nigeria music industry. Talking about Nigeria, let's move straight into stories coming from Nigeria. So actor Williams Uchimba engaged. So yeah, it seems that the month is actually beginning with good news. First for Ifeodor, secondly for actor Williams Uchimba who recently got engaged to his long time girlfriend she's looking super beautiful yes and we wish them all the very best we hope that this engagement in the next couple of months or weeks 
will lead to a fine, fine marriage. Wish Williams, uh, actor Williams, all the very best on that particular one. So, the video happened to storm a wedding reception in Ghana not too long over the weekend, and the couples were super, super surprised. So, I'm sure it was a surprise guest, yes, because I, 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 I'm pretty sure it was not expected in that wedding. So, the video crashed the wedding reception in Ghana. There's a video to this, we want you to watch it and see how. The reception attendees were dancing to some hit song by Davido. Now, so away from that, something interesting popped out on the social media a platform not too long, and that's the fact that in Nigeria, a buried dead man found still breathing after one year. So what happened today? What happened in this particular video is that uh, the man died a couple of uh, months ago, a year to be precise, and he was buried according to the narrator at the background because the narrator at the background is currently speaking Igbo, and I'm not sure all our fans are speaking. I understand Igbo. So what the guy is saying is that uh, the man died a year ago, and he was buried in someone else's land. That is to say, the land he was buried in, it's not his land. So uh, they are they are relating the fact that he was buried in someone's uh, land to the reason why he's still breathing. We can see in the video that the 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 the, the, the cuffs itself, the the coffin itself has been you know decayed, eaten by insects and all that. But the body is still fresh, and the man is still breathing, but he's dead. Interesting, interesting. We wanted to watch the the, the video and see reactions from people around. Now, away from that, uh, interesting, interesting stories coming up for, from the beginning of the week, most especially from the beginning of the month. So your protest will not be in vain so for the past couple of days now we've not been bringing you more updates about the NSAS protest but it's still going on on the ground so uh, the federal government of nigeria is saying that the protest from the youth will not go in vain that it's time the youth sit with the government and pour out their grudges so that the government will find measures and bring out ways to support them and make their dreams come true now uh, this uh, statement was made by the minister of youth sports in nigeria and i called on the youth to be calm and told them that their uh, protest will not go in vain so it's still in SAS all over nigeria in as much as it's come now the federal government is finding ways to handle the youth issues we will be making you update on that in the coming days now away from that remember that uh, in our previous bulletin a couple of uh, days ago we brought to you about a report about how one of nigerian finest actor quite a sad one adam a comic actress in nigeria in nollywood to besides uh mentioned the fact that she was calling on the federal government of nigeria especially buhari to give her the privilege to travel to abuja to bury her daughter so uh, she finally got to abuja and uh she had a funeral and she's still heartbroken and i'm so uh so a colleague came out on social media to say that she's never seen a diamond so broken she prayed that God can't her the peace and she was found in the video singing and thanking God in as much as she's in pain She was singing to one of Sinashi's songs. So watch this video
So that was Adam, uh, you know, still, still saying that at the center of it all, it's God that she sees and she's, you know, she's heartbroken. But at the end of the day, we wish you all the very best. We know that she will pass this time and recover soon. I'm back to bringing smiley faces on her fans all around the nation of Nigeria and the world at large. We wish you all the very best and may the soul of her daughter rest in perfect peace. So that's all we have for you on today's uh, news extra. Don't forget to follow us on our various social media and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on your notifications so you can easily access us wherever you are all around the world. Once again, my name is Kelvin FK. Happy new month of November and enjoy your week.